Welcome back everybody. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make CHD files and you will not believe how easy this is. The first thing you need to do is create an empty folder. I already have one on my desktop that says CHD tutorial. Next step, go to the link in the description and that will take you to this page and download this zip file, chdman.zip. Download that into your empty folder. And at this point, you can go ahead and move an ISO file in there, a GDI file, or a bin and Q file. Move your game into the folder, then extract chdman.zip and delete the zip file. If you need a video on how to extract files, I will link one as an info card in the top right of this video. We are going to be using this bat file, QGDI ISO to chd bat. That will turn the three different types of files that I mentioned into a CHD file. Now all you have to do is double click to run. And that is how simple this program is. It will go through a series of steps and create a CHD in the same root directory, this folder that you started. And fast forward a little bit and you can see now we have the blood will tell CHD file there. And I wanted to make this video short, but I did do it with a Dreamcast game, a GDI file, as you can see here. And I did it with a Sega Saturn game, which was Street Fighter Alpha 2. All of these games I own, and they were my ISOs I made because I would never download them from the internet, ever. But wait, there's more. You can do these in batches. If you ever wanted to go to bed and just batch an entire library of ISO files into a bunch of CHD files, you can do that, and here's how. For ISO files, it's really easy. Just drag multiple ISO files into the root of your folder directory. The same thing with GDI files. You can do multiple Dreamcast games, do an entire library, and let your computer run overnight. No problem, just drag them all in there with the bat file and chdman.exe the executable, and run it overnight. Bin and Q files are different. You'll need to have them in subfolders because they're always kind of named uh, the same things in certain situations, like track one, track two, stuff like that. So you'll need all your bin and Q files and subfolders. And it gets even better if you want to do a variety of files. Just put them all in the subfolders. As you can see here, I have a GDI file in one folder, an ISO in another, and I've been in queue in the third, and I ran them all together, and I just created the CHDs right there in the root of my directory. Well, guys, I hope that helps you. This is another friendly tutorial from Denver Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video, like this video, comment. Uh, let me know what you want to see next, and I'm always happy to help. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want to connect outside of YouTube, I do have a Twitter where I post video game stuff and top 10 lists, as well as an Instagram where you can see my collection and pickups. I also have a TikTok. You can see Groot, Rocket, and Gamora, my Great Danes, and shorter videos. And I also have a Facebook page you can follow as well. So I look forward to connecting with you.